Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Staticker and welcome to Layers of Fear. We're back again. We've collected two of the lovely pieces of flesh and blood by the look of it. Yeah, we already checked this. What was the whispering? Oh, stop looking at me like that. Oh, we've that. already seen that. It's just a little something to help me focus on my work. That's all. That's all. Yeah, I remember. I remember. All right. So, that's part two. Now, we get on to the third part. I've heard that it starts to get even more worse from here now. Alright, let's go. Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Dedica. Good to meet you guys. We still don't have a flashlight either. Hello. Ooh, it's a piano! Hello, piano! Hello? Whoa! You don't like me? Oh, okay, the piano definitely doesn't like me. It's not very nice of it. I can't crouch, can I? No. Is that meant to be me in my younger days? When I was devilishly handsome. Oh, quite so. Yes. Let's check the cabinet here. Oh, hello. <clears throat> About a boy who wakes up in a cave. He finds a mysterious note and a gun. He then journeys through various environments, woods, fields, and rivers. Eventually, he winds up at a small cabin, where it turns out this has been all along a product of his subconscious. Brought upon by a traumatic childhood memory, he killed a guy who had murdered his father. In the real world, he'd been drooling. he's been drooling in a loony bin this whole time. Damn, get it? The twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me? If you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job. It pays well, and it would take your mind off of, well, you know, everything else. Please let me know as soon as possible. Thomas Cadwell. Now, <clears throat> I've come up with a theory for this game. I don't know if it's 100% correct, but this is going to be the, my understanding of the plot. There's been a fire... And the wife got really badly burned and hurt. So she looks like her, her skin is really scarred and damaged and the tissues all melted and stuff. So from what I can gather, he's trying to fix her or repair her. And now she's coming back to haunt him because there is a quote that I think is repeated quite a lot often. And I'm pretty sure somebody told me in my comments that um, the comment's going to be coming very soon. Like the quote of sorts. That door closed really quickly. We. Oh, hang on. Crazy brick. Oh no! I know what's coming behind me. Ra 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 how did I know that was coming? That's a hanging baby. What are you hanging from? A post. Let's cl just just close you ever so gently. Okay, well this ain't creepy at all. I definitely don't want to go here. I'm guessing... Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm like sweating right now already. Jesus Christ. This game always gets me going. I'm very bad with horror games. Just heads up, guys. But like, I still play it because I love... I have a strong passion for horror. June, don't forget. So something was meant to happen on June, I feel, maybe? Or like, that was the promise that they'd made? Oh. Is there anything? No? Okay. Oh! Key! Eh. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> May 23rd. How can two people who once loved each other so fully, so profoundly, drift so far apart? My husband barely speaks to me anymore. He just slithers in and out of his study, obsessively working on one failed painting after another. He won't even sleep with me anymore. I can tell he's disgusted by me. The look he gave me the other day, other day, that pathetic, hurtful look. A combination of shame, guilt, and repulsion. 
I have come to realize that I've become a monster in my husband's eyes. It feels like nothing a woman should ever experience. Still, being the good wife that I am, I decide to realize my husband's fantasy. If he thinks of me of a monster, I will sure as hell act the part. Meaning she's gonna come after us. Well, fuck. We're dead, aren't we? Open! You're a hoe. And you suck. You suck dick. Go die in a hole. Go die in a hole. No, but. Hmm. Option of going this way. Ah. Well, doesn't look this one look fun. You know what? Fuck it. Blind fools. Miscreants, I'm guessing that says. Ingorfants. Ugly. Ugly. Huh? You ordered a true portrait, so that's where I painted, you fucking pleb. Maybe I need to kick some artistic sense into your stupid face. Shit. All right. Hello. Okay. That was weird. Let me guess. Oh, yeah. So I can't answer that one. What a what a what? Okay. Do we just keep going around in a loop? Okay, we'll just do it one more time, and if not, I feel like we might have to go around the other way. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll try one more time. Let's see if it says it does the same thing. Alright, fine. Let's just go this way then. Alright then. Yes, Yep. Hello? Yes, yes speak. speak. What? what? What fire? Oh, God. Is she... Which hospital? I'm on my way. So, yeah. Because there was too many references to fire here. I'm gonna get jump scared, aren't I? Well then. Restless memories! Can I stay in here now, please? Shit. Okay, that's the same. Oh. Hello, Mr. Head. Quite terrifying, aren't we? 
Yes, we are quite terrified right now, as it is. And I don't really like... Surprises. wonder what happens if we check out that way, actually. I can't turn the light off again? No, I can't. Flapping horror, be quiet. Constantly flapping each- eating other rats. Fuck. Oh, hell no. Oh, 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 did I stop it? Mm. Okay. Hope is the mind killer. Well, I have no hope for this game because I'm fucking terrified. Wait, there's going to be an elevator jump scare, isn't there? Shit. I'm like gonna stay in the far corner. Just just don't mind me, I'm gonna lean back so the mic isn't too loud. Oh no. No 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 no. Don't stop me here. <sighs> Why? Why? In any case, as your lawyer, I advise you to refrain from any imprudent actions. In other words, do not do anything stupid. We still have a chance of winning this, believe it or not. I've gotten clients out of deeper shit than this, just don't make it any worse. Lay low for a while, and let me appeal the court order. This social worker definitely has it in for you. We can use that to our advantage. Portray you <coughs> as a victim of the system. A husband in mourning. A momentary lapse of reason. An overzealous bureaucrat. Trust me, this is our best option, considering that what you've been through lately. I'd say we have a good 50-50% chance of a good outcome, but not if you keep trying to convince everyone that you've gone completely insane. No more. Outbursts, no more rambling, better yet, no public appearances whatsoever. You can still get your door- Ah, so they had an argument. And they had to go to court beca because something happened to her face, I'm assuming. They had an argument and then he went to court with her because they think that she's insane. Let's close that. I feel like I'm going to get jump scared. <laughs> Fuck it. Okay. Oh, fuck. Why are there so many jump scares? Mm. Oh, fuck me. Ooh. I'm literally just getting goosebumps all over my body from playing this. Like, holy shit. Okay, we have two doors. We can move that pallet or we can open this door, I'm assuming. Which is a bathroom. You yeah, know. Where did I? Okay, I moved it, yeah. Hey, ba! Okay, the door. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, there's nothing in the mirror. Silent floaters, they clog the drains, fur in the water, no baths for me. Okay. Radio, I'm probably fucked. Yep. Okay, well, I have to go this way anyway. <sighs> Fuck me. Fuck me. <gasps> Yay. Oh, no. No. Oh, that's the key. That, no, that that's a baby. That's a baby. Ain't nobody wanna go ain't nobody wanna go near the babies. Fuck it! Hello, Mr. Baby! Fuck you, Mr. Baby! Fight me, Mr. Baby! Okay. That's awfully suspicious. Oh, why is there a dagger? This baby is so fucking creepy, like holy shit. Alright, fuck. I know he's gonna jump scare me when I read this. Alright. From love to madness, man apprehended after kidnapping his own daughter. Aha! This is where it went. Earlier today, a typical quiet and peaceful neighborhood witnessed a scene straight out of a crime drama. As social services, accompanied by armed police officers, descended upon the residence of blank. Excuse me. A once famous painter and recent widower, apparently the man had broken into a children's care center downtown and ab abscond with one of the young patients. Right. And our sources claim that the girl was in fact the culprit's daughter, who had previously been removed from his care after a family court ruling. After unsuccessful attempts at negotiation, fearing that the man might harm the child, police officers stormed the building and apprehended the suspect. Eyewitnesses claim that, as the paramedics escorted the girl out of the house, the man, still in handcuffs, fell to his knees and repeatedly exclaimed, Please, she's all I have left. A truly tragic turn. So the wife did die. So then where the fuck am I right now? I'm going to avoid the baby. And look through there and close the door. So, we know now that the wife died, which means that she's coming back to fucking haunt the shit out of us. The daughter is in some sort of childcare because we aren't looking after her as it is. Okay, the light's on. Open the door. Ever so gently. Hoi! Okay, yeah, that is definitely suspicious. That is... What am I looking for? Oh, here we go. Body borrowers feeding on the driving me on me, driving me insane too fast to cut out. So he has gone insane, basically. Well, looks like we're going this way then. Oh, fuck that glass scared me. Oh my god. And I can't leave. On the road we go to confusion and distortion. Can I look behind me and it's all fucking weird. Oh, into the basement we go, eh? I can't see shit. That's still creepy. Alright. I know what's gonna go. There's gonna be a jump scare, 100%. Oh, fucking hell. This looks like shit. This looks like shit. This wants me, make me wants to die and not come back because it's fucking terrifying. And I don't like it. And I am scared. And there's a piano. Something was making a noise. And I do not like it. I can play the piano. Okay. Now, 
100% bet says that either the chick's going to appear behind us or something fucking terrifying is going to happen. Ready? All right. I'm not ready for this. I'm 100% not ready for this. Oh. Oh, we were supposed to do that by the look of it. Wait, don't tell me everything is just going to drop and slam on the ground, isn't it? I don't know where I'm... Oh. I can't see. I don't like the fact that I can't see. Can I please go home now? <sighs> Alright. Alright. Due to recent commentary, I'm gonna go over here where the creepy light is. I needed to remove the flesh from oh, the bone. Oh, we needed this. At first, I was lost as to how. But then I sawed it off with a handsaw. Boiled it. Then put the bone in a mortar. I had to get one, obviously. This was not something I'd done before. Finally, I mixed the dust with some white paint. It made for a lovely undercoat. Okay, this guy is mentally insane. Hulaba! Oh, I see. So we were supposed to do that. Okay. All right, let's take a look. Yep, a Rooney. All right. Yeah, it's locked. All right. Whoa. <clears throat> Dear God, we've messed this place up. So it's getting more and more deranged. Can I have a cigar now? No. Okay. We've got a lot more photos. Wait, do we still have a key? Oh, we have a key. Oh, no, no, sorry. That's the item. That's the item. No. Just, uh... All this stuff. No. Come on. Open. Okay, we got a lot of posters now. Like, a lot. I don't know if that's how many we're supposed to have, but we have a lot. I think we've searched everything. What if you fail? We won't fail. We can do it. Habushki! Alright, what's it looking like now? Okay. Looks really deranged and kind of creepy, but, well, okay. Yeah, is that the bone one? Yeah, alright. Yeah, so we got the skin, blood, bone. What's the next one going to be? Fucking organs? Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, it's going to be an organ. Organ for the paint. Alright. I guess we'll leave it at that. We're going to call that a day. Or night, technically. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy the series, please give it a thumbs up, a like, and a subscribe. That was terrifying as fuck, and I hate it, but I love it at the same time. But, yeah, if you want me to continue the series, keep bringing in them good comments and all overall vibe. Uh, also, recently I started a Patreon um, website. Uh, not a Patreon. A Patreon page. So, if you guys want to check that out as well, if you want to support me in any way... That would be really well appreciated, honestly. It, it means so much for you guys to just either sub and watch my videos or provide me with some sort of support, whether it be money, uh, advice, game recommendations, things like that. Honestly, like, you guys are the best, seriously. I, I couldn't be happier with you guys watching my videos because seriously, it's like the best feeling when you see somebody tell you that they really enjoyed their videos and it made their day. It really makes me happy, and honestly, that's all I really want to do with my life. Just make people happy with the videos that I make. So, if you like making me scream and cry, well, welcome to it. 
But either way, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao for now.